Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to be with you here in London today. It's a pleasure to be with you. <laughs> so maybe we could just kick off with a brief introduction to this incredible new series. For people who don't know anything about it, what can they expect from a town called Malice? Ooh. We really look at each other like, ooh, Action. so much. <laughs> yes. Excitement. Romance. Glamour. Neon soaked dreams. Sex. <laughs> yes. The most stunning music. Yeah. Fantastic. Mullets and perms. Yeah. And and uh, gorgeous cinematography. <gasps> Phenomenal. Yeah. Gorgeous. And everyone will want to go on holiday after yeah. watching it. You want to get out of England. And there's not some yeah, exactly. Yeah. And there's some serious laughs too. Yeah. Because yes. it's the, a lot of it is really very funny. Big time. And of course, Nick Love, absolutely no stranger to kind of capturing this certain element of um, Britishness, mm -hmm. of working class, kind of, and then particularly going back to the 80s. Um, what was it like working with him and, I don't know, nailing the, the accent? Oh, <laughs> yeah. You know, what, what was it like um, being on set and, and kind of bringing his vision to life? Well, Nick is a phenomenal and a singular human being. I mean, first of all, he, he comes from this world. He knows these people really well. Um, and he loves them. And you can see that. You can feel that in his writing and in his storytelling. Um, there, there is nothing really, uh, I guess, um, there's, there's no uh, sort of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Cynicism yeah, in right. the way he writes about them at all. And so that's one of the wonderful things about this story and about working with him is that he's so, so straightforward and so hilariously funny and so very who he is. Yes. And so I guess when you're working on something like this with him, you feel that confidence and you can sort of sit back and relax and let him do all that, uh, you know, the, the hard work. And you can just come out and just do your bit to say your lines, yeah. can hopefully say them well. <laughs> And, you know, wear your shoulder pads, make sure they're 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 not crooked, and uh, you know, and that's it. You know, mm -hmm. I and completely agree with Martha. We just adore Nick as well. And what was amazing by the end of this series, it felt like he was asking us kind of things about like, how do you feel now? You've been playing this character for a few episodes. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about them doing this or going in this way and that one? It was really nice to almost have like a slightly collaborative um, sort of storyline mm -hmm. sort of sessions by the end, and it was just incredible. He really got to know us through the characters, and you started to see him really pair the two together. So that when he was writing for the characters, he so had us in mind and saw what we were able to do on set and I found that really beautiful and special. Yeah. We just adore him, he's phenomenal. It's true. Yeah. And I was reading that it's like Dallas meets Pulp Fiction, yeah. set to a soundtrack yeah. of Duran Duran and, yeah. you know, it's true, there's all these kind of elements that are going in there, kind of the feeling of a Western, but, you know, really leaning into kind of the 80s aesthetic and the music. What was it like getting those costumes on, being on these sets? What were some of the highlights, perhaps? Well, uh, I mean, first of all, the costumes are phenomenal. Molly Rowe did the costumes and, and she's just got impeccable taste. Um, but she's also willing to, you know, push the envelope. And yeah. she really, really knew how to sort of, as Eliza says, sort of build our characters mm -hmm. um, uh, from the outside in. And we sort of came at it mm -hmm. from the other direction, I suppose. Yeah. But um, no, it was fabulous. Really, really. I mean, it just changed the way you walk to change the way you held yourself, you know, um, uh, the way you moved your mouth and, you know, that sort of, that's all in the accent too, I suppose. But yeah, it just, it was really a, 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 a holistic kind of transformation for all of us, you know. Completely, and we all felt that way about each other. It was we were always in awe of one another every day with like our different outfits and stuff. And it was just incredible <laughs> watching everyone just transform and change yeah. out of your eyes. And and I feel like yeah, as Martha says, the costume does that, the hair and makeup does that. But there's something as well about the vista and the scenery. And as you said, it feels like a western. I almost feel like from the bits that I've seen, it's just like the rolling hills, and then you see the Rolls Royce coming yeah, down yeah. the avenues. And you're like, whoa! It's so like spellbindingly stunning. Mm. But then within that, it's all the like gritty, like itty bitty like relationship dynamics between mm. everybody mm -hmm. and you know it just the, the breakdown of things but against this unbelievable backdrop yeah awesome yeah yeah and what do you think people can take away from watching it because it does feel like you know this there's some violence but there's romance and there's drama and there's the the, the family drama specifically um you know what it's a bit of escapism on, mm -hmm. on, on the other hand so you know what can people take away from watching it well, hopefully they take away a desire to see more yes. of it. Um, uh, but no, I, I I hope that they're entertained. I hope that they're 
um, that they're warmed. Mm -hmm. um, you know, here we are in midwinter and, you know, just getting sort of absorbed in that gorgeous scenery. And as Eliza says, and that sort of that rocky sort of beachy kind of world. It's so sexy and, <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, um, so hopefully that but hopefully also they're you know, they're moved and they're drawn in by these characters and they want, you know, they want to see these characters, if not succeed, then to get their comeuppance or to, you know, hopefully they're invested yes. in it, particularly in, in Jack and Tahira's characters. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I, I just adore their relationship yes. and and I think it's a very unusual one and one that you don't see very often in television. Mm -hmm. I completely agree with Martha, 100%. And They're uh, sort of like Bonnie and Clyde for a new generation, do you know? That is so true, and that's so true. And it's, it's, they're, they're completely unique. And uh, as Martha said, I, I hope everyone falls in love with the family. And it's so interesting that uh, just when you think you work someone out, they completely change. But also, they are, they're all completely bold and like unique characters and they all have so much to say they've all got an amazing story to tell and it's wonderful just investing in them as you say and yeah mm -hmm. and bring back the mullets bring back the yeah. shoulder pads that's what take away from that bring it back yes. come on. <laughs> I was thinking that I wanted to get the, these costumes um, and, and are you going to take your eastern accent out at parties no yes. yes. yeah. that's yeah. me yeah. that's my favourite <laughs> Mint Mars accent is oh, divine <laughs> and also bring back like neon yellow eyeshadow why yeah, I not know. why not come on love it it's so much fun I feel like I think Victoria Beckham's trying to do that. She is. Yeah. She is. Come on, Vicky, yeah. let's make it happen. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out of time, but thank you so much for sharing all that with me. Thank Cannot you. wait for everyone else to see this amazing series. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.